Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we'll be comparing two of the top streaming boxes on the market today to find out which is the best to buy right now. So, Apple recently announced a brand new Apple TV 4K streamer and successor to the Apple TV 4K 2021, bringing cheaper prices and hardware upgrades to the table. This sparked major concerns, as many people were wondering if it can stand up to the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. Well, in today's comparison, you will find the answers you're looking for. So make sure you watch till the end to find out. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. Now, let's start with the price. The new Apple TV 4K retails at $129 for the base 64GB model and $149 for the 128GB model. Interestingly, compared to the 2021 model, Apple has actually slashed prices, upgraded hardware, and even raised the base storage capacity of Apple TV 4K from 32GB to 64GB. Well, this isn't surprising given the rumors that suggested a cheaper TV was on the way but it does provide a stark contrast to the iPhone 14 range and new iPad 2022 and iPad Pro 2022 that have seen prices increase across the board. The NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, on the other hand, is priced at $199.99. That gets you the console itself, a new and improved remote control, which we'll discuss in detail shortly, and access to 20 great PC games that can be streamed over the internet as part of the GeForce Now service, which you can expand upon with your own purchases. It also comes improved internal hardware and some new features, which we'll get to in a second. Design In terms of design, both the Apple TV 2022 and NVIDIA Shield TV Pro are not built to take too much space. The NVIDIA Shield TV Pro is a tiny little thing, given the power it packs. It's shaped like a slim wedge with some angular indentations carved into it for posterity. It's about the size of two Kindle e-readers stacked on top of each other. It just about fit into the back pocket of your jeans, in a pinch. Laying flat or standing tall when placed in a sold separately stand accessory, it'll sit innocuously alongside your other AV gear, with its status depicted by a neon green light strip, the intensity of which can be tweaked if you find it a little garnish. Around the back, it has two USB 3.0 ports, and 4K HDR compatible HDMI port, an Ethernet port, and a proprietary power port. Wi-Fi is built in, 802.11 AC dual band, as in Bluetooth 5.0 for connecting wireless accessories. The only cable included in the box, however, is for the power. You'll have to supply your own HDMI, and USB if required, lead. Under the hood is 3GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. The RAM remains unchanged then, but just to mention, there are other Shield models which with as much as 500GB of onboard storage, so a little more here would have been appreciated. Still, the two USB ports make adding external storage a cinch, not to mention plugging in a wired controller or keyboard and mouse. However, what's really special about the streamer box is the processor, the first major upgrade to the Shield TV range since it was introduced in 2015. On board here is the Tegra X1 Plus processor, representing a 25% performance boost over the retiring Tegra X1. It's of the same family of chips currently powering the latest Nintendo Switch models, including the Nintendo Switch Lite. The NVIDIA Shield TV Pro also comes with a new remote control in the box, and it's thoughtfully reconsidered. Rather than being flat, it's now shaped like a prism, and includes dedicated playback controls, as well as a selection wheel. A dedicated Netflix button is also included, as well as a mic on button and a quick menu button that can be customized in the interface to jump straight to any function you choose. The remote also doubles up as an IR blaster now for controlling your TV, while it'll also beep if lost if you make use of the mostly inessential NVIDIA Shield TV mobile app. Another improvement is that the remote now makes use of AAA batteries, rather than the last generation's button-shaped watch batteries. However, it's still not as convenient as the first-generation Shield Remote's USB rechargeable power supply. On the other hand, the design of the Apple TV 4K 2022 is visually almost the same as last year's model, but there are a few tweaks here and there. For starters, the new Apple TV 4K is a bit shorter, and thanks to a more efficient processor, Apple has been able to remove the internal fan. The Siri remote for the Apple TV 4K 2022 remains virtually identical to the remote packaged with the 2021 model, which is great news because it's nice and easy to use. The only difference is now it features a USB-C port for charging. Features In terms of features, the single biggest upgrade in Apple TV 4K 2022 is the addition of the same A15 Bionic chip which also powers the iPhone 14. 
This is not a small upgrade, especially considering that the 2021 Apple TV was powered by Apple's A12 Bionic chip, which is now a few generations old. According to Apple, it has greater responsiveness, faster navigation, and snappier UI animations. In general, while gamers will be pleased to hear that the new Apple TV's GPU results in a 30% increase in performance, interestingly, the new Apple TV 4K also consumes 30% less power too, which you would assume is a part of the reason why Apple's been able to remove the internal fan. If you were even bothered by the noise of the fan spinning, you won't have to worry about that anymore. The other feature for the Apple TV 4K 2022 concerns HDR support. The new Apple TV has Dolby Vision, HDR10, HLG, and HDR10 Plus support. While the other major dynamic HDR format Dolby Vision currently has more support in general, HDR10 Plus is the HDR format of choice for Prime Video, so its inclusion is nice to see. On the other hand, if you've used an Android TV device before, you'll know what to expect from the NVIDIA Shield TV. It's pretty much been the vanilla Android TV experience as Google designed it, with some small tweaks, mostly in the terms of setting options, specific to the Shield TV Pro's features. The Shield TV Pro therefore gives you access to all the major streaming services in their 4K HDR configurations, from Netflix to Amazon Prime Video to the BBC iPlayer and everything in between. There's also media server apps like Plex, a ton of Android TV games to try out, including some exclusive to the Shield and its powerful innards, and for those happy to navigate the potential pitfalls, a host of retro gaming emulators to tinker with. There's also now a discovery lab with content recommendations and new banner promotions for Disney Plus shows. It's a better interface, but altogether too different. Plus, Google Chromecast is built in here, so any Chromecast supporting mobile app that you want to throw up onto the big screen via the Shield will be supported here. It's worth noting that all this can be browsed using voice commands from within any section of the interface or from inside an app, with the included remote featuring a mic. Google Assistant is the native voice butler built in, but the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro can be controlled with Amazon's Alexa devices too. As such, the Shield TV Pro is an effective smart home hub, as well as being a media player and gaming box. So what's new in terms of features for the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro? It's mostly down to video playback performance. Shield TV already supports plenty of HDR formats but it now also can play back Dolby Vision content, a premium format that tweaks brightness and contrast levels using frame-by-frame -frame metadata. If your TV supports it, it's an incredibly rewarding feature, bringing great depth to a scene. It also means the Shield now supports both of Dolby's premium cinema formats, including Dolby Atmos Audio, which can make sounds appear to come from behind and above a movie viewer, as well as in front for a truly immersive experience, provided you've got compatible speaker gear hooked up to your TV. Which one is for you? So, should you purchase the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro? Compared to the Apple TV 2022, there's not much difference with the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro edition, but that doesn't stop it being an essential buy for newcomers to the product. It's unrivaled when it comes to its 4K HDR streaming capabilities, has wide app support thanks to its Android TV foundations, and is littered with potential for gamers. Whether playing games stored locally, on the device, or over the net through the GeForce Now service. However, there's a bit of a learning curve to the many ticks the Shield Pro is capable of, and you're going to need a strong web connection to take advantage of all its gaming powers. As a device, I unreservedly recommend it. But it may sting to know that the Shield TV Pro isn't quite the deal it once was. On the other hand, the new Apple TV 4K 2022 is more of a refresh than it is revolutionary redesign. But since last year's Apple TV 4K was regarded as the best media streamer out there, a price cut and upgraded hardware look extremely promising on paper. Personally speaking, I'd buy the Apple TV 2022 since I feel like it provides the best value for the listed price. Anyway, that's my thought guys. I'll be happy to hear what you think in the comments. For more information and most updated prices, check the links in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out our previous videos about the top 5 best 4K TVs on our previous comparison between the LG G2 and Sony A95K. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so as to never miss any of our upcoming videos.